The top Democrat in the House of Representatives says there are more than 300 bipartisan votes to pass the foreign aid package the Senate approved on Tuesday. He's calling on Speaker Mike Johnson to bring it up for a vote. Speaker Johnson says he opposes the bill because it does not include any border security provisions and therefore he will not bring it up for a vote. But Leader Jeffries says he will utilize every legislative tool available to get this bill approved. So here are a few of his options to go around Speaker Johnson to force a vote on this bill. One is a discharge petition. That requires a majority of members, currently 217, to sign a petition that is filed with the House clerk and ultimately brings the bill up for a vote on the floor. But discharge petitions are time consuming and have rules that really get into the weeds. For instance, once a petition is filed, you have to wait at least seven days before a vote. And those votes are allowed to take place only on certain days of the week. Long story short, that route won't be easy. Neither will a PQ. Or formally, ordering of the previous question. It requires a vote, and if successful, Democrats would control the House floor for one hour of debate on the legislative item that was offered in the PQ. We don't know when Democrats will try either of these, but we do know they'll need the help of a group of Republicans to do it. Speaker Johnson, his leadership team, and those who oppose the foreign aid package are going to do everything they can to stop these maneuvers, and they're also working on ideas of their own. But the Republicans' border bill has not received any support from Democrats, so it's not going to become law as is. The same can be said for their idea to cut funding from current programs to offset new spending. They tried that with a previous package for Israel, but it didn't go anywhere. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.